friends in this video i will be talking about some additional information of reading cell pip part 4 now in cell pip reading part 4 what happens sometime the first question they ask is about that first paragraph first paragraph or might be the main idea so if the question is about let's say the first question first question that you are doing in reading part 4 reading part 4 first question what is the main idea if they are asking for the main idea of the paragraph so make sure you check only and only the first paragraph so this is a common mistake that generally student do what they do is when the question is about main idea they read the entire passage like four five six paragraphs are there they read the entire passage they waste a lot of time a lot of energy and then end up getting the general passage general idea of the passage which is not needed so main idea means it must be taken from the first paragraph from nowhere else okay so main idea must be from first paragraph never read the entire passage to find out the main idea otherwise you will be wasting a lot of time a lot of energy and would end up getting the incorrect answer and sometimes the question is about first paragraph what is the first paragraph about so the question straight away says first paragraph means obviously you have to check first paragraph only but technically what happens is the first paragraph always gives the background information this is a thumb rule this is a universal rule of writing that the first paragraph opening paragraph is always about background information or they are going to give a definition of a particular term so read that first paragraph read that options and eliminate the incorrect one and then choose the correct answer so it is background information it might be about the term they are going to define but they never give the main point like the reasons the supportive argument the supportive arguments are never given in first paragraph okay so this thing will always help you the second thing i'm going to talk in today's video is sometimes they ask about the opinion and then it is about opinion so opinion can be discussed in two different ways these two different ways is the first is they ask whose opinion is similar to dash okay so when you are going to compare the opinion of two people might be the similar opinion or the opposite one so whenever it is about opinion now here i'll talk about the mistake what is the common mistake that student do when they are going to check the opinion of someone let's say we'll talk about two people to make it sure okay so one we have john and the other person we have with us is Adam. And now you are going to compare the viewpoint of these two people. Now what generally students do is they read his opinion in detail, his supportive argument. Then they read his opinion in detail as well, again the supportive argument. And then they compare his supportive argument with his. That is the wrong approach completely wrong approach of answering the question whose opinion is similar to whom and two people in a pair are given in the options when the question asks about opinion question only and only asking about either you agree or you disagree with the particular topic if there are two people who are in favor okay let's say i'll take any shop any topic and the topic is online shopping for online shopping there are four people they have given a b c and d so a is in favor of online shopping for some specific reason then b is also in favor of online shopping but the reasons are different from the first one so if the question is about whose opinion is similar to a and b though their supportive arguments are completely different but since they both agree to the topic their opinion is considered the same and however the question is about the opposite one so make sure one is in favor of online shopping like a is in favor of online shopping c is against online shopping so a and c they are against each other their opinion are against each other supportive argument will never matter in case of opinion questions okay so if you are looking for supportive argument again the same you'll be wasting a lot of time and energy why because you are reading full information both of like for both of the people or might be like three or four people are there so you are reading for everybody you are comparing then you are choosing an answer that's again an incorrect one 
okay so if it is about opinion make sure you choose only and only two people who agree two people who disagree this is only enough to make sure you choose that opinion question and generally when these kind of question come student you know they feel it difficult to answer and another important tip for doing part 4 is once you read the paragraph as you already have a pen and paper in your hand so you should write quickly the name of the person on the paper let's say it is about john kennedy so john kennedy what i'll be doing i'll be writing quickly on the paper like jk in first paragraph and then whether is agree or disagree if he is in favor of the topic i'll say plus just to make sure that the person is in favor and the other person is against so i should be writing very short notes in reading part 4 on the paper this thing will reduce my stress will make me feel comfortable and again will increase my accuracy of answering this type of questions okay another important tip for reading part 4 is when the question is about author's opinion so when it is about author's opinion it is always question number 5 in fifth question they talk about author's opinion and author's opinion are generally taken from the last paragraph and why it is there from the last paragraph again it is a thumb rule it is an universal rule that if someone is writing let's say if i'm writing some article obviously i might be taking references of different people i'll be writing the person name introduction and the opinion but since i am the writer i am the author of this article i'll be giving my preference just in the bottom so read always the last two three lines and these two three lines will help you to understand author's approach author's tone or author's opinion in this article okay so i hope these things will help you and if you think that this information is not included like this video has not included the basic information so i have already uploaded other videos wherein i have explained the part four in detail so you can watch that video to learn more about it so that is an additional part of the previous video okay so keep learning with me all the best